you Virgo welcome back to the channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo if you're new welcome please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading please keep in mind this is a general love reading some messages may or may not be for you don't force it to fit just take what fits leave the rest this is a channel for Virgo Sun Moon Rising or Venus but of course all signs are welcome Okay, Virgos, so let's get into this reading. Also, if you want to book a personal reading with me, I'm running a discount at this time for the month of July. So do go over and check that out, or you can book with Brandy as well. All right, Virgo, hope you're all having a great day and a great evening. All right, let's see. What are the messages here for Virgo? Also, yesterday's reading was for the next six months. July through December. So if you want to get a further look into the future, uh, definitely go back and check that out. Okay. Wow, you've got a love call coming in, Virgo. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and just letting you know. Okay, Virgo. So definitely a love call coming in. Let's see what else. All right. The phoenix is rising and soulmates okay a new phase a rekindling renewal transformation growth a changed mind uh soulmates soul connection partnership agreements soul contracts so somebody's coming in to call you to tell you they've changed their mind about something okay and it's a soulmate there's a soulmate coming in saying hey virgo guess what I've been thinking about things and I've changed my mind about what I said or didn't say in the past okay or what I recently told you or what we discussed all right so let's get into this reading and first of all let's see what else is going on here with this energy Okay, so you've got the King of Wands. So there is a King of Wands coming in, hot and heavy. Okay, and this King of Wands has a very fiery, passionate heart. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, could be somewhere in their chart. Doesn't have to be their, um, their sun. Could be anywhere in their chart. It's Mars ruled. I will tell you that. Can be Mars ruled. Let's see what else is going on here. What else can you tell Virgo? All right. And the Hermit. Yeah, somebody's definitely been thinking, soul searching, doing some inner reflection. This King of Wands has been doing some inner reflection, thinking about you as well. And just taking some time to um, think about something, to make a decision. And I feel like in July, um, this energy is playing out and this person is coming in to make a love offer to you. Okay, maybe that's what they've changed their mind about. Um, there's a new phase happening here with someone. Let me see. What else can you tell Virgo about this? Wow, get the death card. So we also have Virgo and also Scorpio. So yeah, there's a new beginning happening here, Virgo, in July. Um, hold on a second. July 24th could be significant. 24th through the 29th. Um, I feel like someone here is transformed. They've gone through some kind of a cycle. They've done a lot of thinking. They've come to the end of things here. And, um, they're on this new phase. Yeah, so Virgo, I do feel like this person is coming in, this King of Wands is coming in to make a romantic offer or proposal to you. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. Wow, the magician. Let me see. Something's over. There's something has ended. Okay. Yeah, this person, um, it looks like they've had a lot of conflict and um, they've recovered for some kind of conflict and they're in like a real good high vibrationary energy. Um, 
they've created a lot of conflict as well in their personal life and it's, it looks like they're they're taking a rest from that they're recovering from that there's just so much renewal energy happening within this person and with that sun i'm telling you virgo like they're coming out to show something to expose uh something going on with them okay coming out of the dark for sure with that hermit energy and bringing something out into the light or out into the open okay i do feel like this person um <laughs> they just keep giving me there's they've had a lot of uncertainty and i feel like this person is pretty much zeroed in on what they need to do with their life in regards to you okay so and it just it's so straightforward i don't like i just feel like all right let's we're done that's it i mean it's so straightforward there's leo energy there's gemini but i feel like this king of wands is 100 percent um going into battle they're going to fight for this relationship fight for this connection with you um and that energy plays out mostly towards the end of july okay especially with that magician okay so the high priestess the eight of cups the fool wow okay this person's been secretly thinking of you wishing to um they, they've departed there was this departure and they've, they've been on their own to try to gather their thoughts and figure out what they want and what they want to do with their like the rest the remaining portion of their life how they want to live it and i feel like this person is also um you know they live their life kind of free and non-committal um foolishly maybe a bachelor or a bachelorette um kind of just chasing waterfalls living in fantasy land there's a lot of that energy here and i just kind of feel like this person has always secretly been wishing um to have a like someone special in their life and then i also feel like with you they know that you're that someone special okay and this is kind of an awakening that this person is having is having i was gonna say is having this, this they're having they're having an awakening <laughs> So that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. So very you have the moon. And you I feel like will not be sure what to make of this. Is this person being deceitful? Um I feel like there might be a lack of trust going on here with this moon. Seemingly kind of shady and you're going to be seeking the truth. Um, and try to make sense of this offer that's coming in from this person who has just come to terms with what I feel like they either they know they need to do or that you like it, it's kind of like you were like the love was there all along and this person did not I don't know if they didn't accept it I feel like they were non-committal with the seven of cups and just kind of being like a free bird you know not really committing to anything maybe traveling or just being off on their own like a nomad <laughs> you know and i feel like here you are virgo you're just like hold up wait a minute you know I, I, is this like this seems kind of sketch is this person really like, really being truthful and really being fair and honest and i do feel like this person is because of the hermit card because of the soul searching because of taking time alone i feel like they've been on their own um maybe not really socializing with a lot of people just kind of going within really thinking long and hard about you know the next steps in their life how they want to live it and it feels like they've definitely transformed even with that phoenix like this person knows you are a soulmate for them you are their soulmate okay so let's see you've also got the empress and the three of pentacles so virgo you are all right so we did we have libra double libra and pisces and taurus here so you are pretty much <laughs> virgo i feel like for you it's like all right can i get that in writing uh, what you're offering here, I'm going to need to get that in writing. Yeah. 
Um, I'm going to need that contract. I'm going to need the, all the fine print. I'm going to have to take it to my lawyer and have them overlook it or look it over. Yeah, because Virgo, you are in this Empress energy where it's like you don't, you're not playing here. So I feel like, so I don't feel like it's like, I don't feel like you feel like you don't deserve this because it feels to me like you already know you deserve the best. But something here with the moon is telling me that you don't trust it, or at least you won't be trusting it. And you're going to need something in writing. <laughs> it's just how I feel. And the Three of Pentacles is like a commitment card. So for you, Virgo, it's like make the offer and it's got to be for real because you are commitment minded. You're, you're not messing around. You're not doing the whole romantic fly by night kind of energy with anybody here. You know, the Empress doesn't do that. The Empress doesn't just get with jokers. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the Empress is the real deal. The Empress is serious. And very warm and loving and okay they just gave me that scene again with the Jerry Maguire what is it um, when Jerry said to um, I can't remember his name tip of my tongue the football guy he said or no, the football guy said to Jerry don't mess with a single mom he said you don't mess with the single mom mm -mm. and <laughs> He said, because the single mom has been to the circus and she has seen the puppet show. You don't play with that energy, okay? So whether you are a single mother or a single father, that you have children, whether they're young or old or out of the house, whatever it is, there's a different mindset when after you've had children. Um, life becomes more incredibly valuable, you know? And there's something here about you who is basically like no i'm going to need that in writing um because i'm not taking i don't i'm not i don't get involved with jokers i need something that's going to be serious so you're really kind of putting your foot down there um in july with someone here specifically okay you're not taking um well we'll see how it goes i just don't feel like you're you're taking that train uh, this train has a destination and that's what the train you're traveling on. There has to be a destination, but also one where you know you both enjoy the journey. Otherwise, you're you're like locked. You're locked and loaded. You are locked up. Yeah, no one's getting your heart unless they are coming at you with you know something real, Virgo. You know something real, and that's your energy for July. And maybe that's just always your energy. You know, you want you're kind of like I'm going to need more information. And also, you're kind of like, I'm going to need to look over you like, I'm going to need to look this over and see what kind of what kind of magic potion juice you're trying to create here with me. Yeah, you're very serious with that three of pentacles. You want to build something here with me? You want to create something? Um, yeah, Virgo. Let me see what your advice is here with this person, Virgo. What is your advice? I just feel like some of you are like, I don't have time to play. I'll play if you're serious with me. Then we can play. Then we can play ball. <laughs> you know, otherwise I'm not playing. Virgo's like, I don't need to win any trophies. I am the trophy. <laughs> I am the prize. I don't need to go out and beg for the prize or try to win the prize. I am the prize. So you're, I don't feel like you're up in your ego though. I just feel like you know your worth and your value which is good. All right, let me see your advice here. Okay. Weigh it out carefully. Okay. Weigh your, weigh it out. The pros and the cons of this situation, of this offer that's being made to you, this proposal that's coming to you. Um, bring balance into the situation. Also, you should understand that with this infinity symbol, this represents what comes around goes around. So um, this can be for some of you a situation where somebody's coming back around again also um yeah your advice here is to just kind of be like hmm let me see let me think what do i want to do here let me try to figure this out but yeah you are getting you are going to be getting an offer 
Now, it's, listen, I know there's a whole ton of you listening. It's not going to be for everyone. Just keep your mind peeled, your eyes open. If it doesn't come to pass for you, it doesn't mean that the next reading won't be for you. I know some of you have been waiting months and months, and we just kind of have to take it with an open mind and a grain of salt, okay? But that is the energy that I'm picking up. Um, let me see. What does this person want long term? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the lovers. Yep forever and ever partnership both of you to come together in a very blessed union look i just looked under the deck the ace of cups so definitely um to have a new beginning here with you to have something special that you can both work towards a blessing i mean virgo there's gemini energy there I just, I just really get a sense that this person is, you know, they've done a lot of soul searching. They, and it's not, it's not soul searching in the way of if they love you or not, or if they have feelings for you. They do. I don't feel like that was ever an, a, a question, even if they didn't share these feelings for you or with you. I don't think that was ever a question for them. The question for them, I feel like has been can they commit to something long term you know um, and have that deep partnership and be vulnerable that i feel like for this person has been a struggle because as i said before this person has been kind of a wanderer just kind of all over the place um living that lifestyle not really committing to anybody maybe they did commit to other things like work and stuff but maybe not just kind of being in you know fantasy land and maybe a bit immature and just in and out so something's going on here with this person that's making them rethink the whole thing maybe they've had a near-death experience um, or they feel like they're getting closer to the end and you know they've always loved you but they haven't been able to commit for whatever reasons um, or they just chose not to it looks like they're choosing that now and in July. For some of you, it can play out into August as well. All right. So, and you know, I mean, that's not a bad deal there, Virgo. That's a pretty good message there for you guys. Um, this is a soulmate connection. Let me see what the romance angels are here for you, Virgo. What are the romance angels? messages for Virgo okay codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life this person um, may have had some addictions that kept them from that you know that's what I was saying chasing waterfalls what's that song don't go chasing waterfalls you know it's all about that from uh, TLC right um, I feel like this person there's a chance remember i said recovery they may be um getting themselves together getting themselves clean from their addictions and addiction you you put whatever is under the umbrella of that okay they had codependency issues as well so um that's something for you to be aware of as well that i feel like whatever has had their claws in in them um they are breaking free from that that's what the death card is coming to the end of that um, something might have happened to them where they were on the brink or they come to terms with you know can't keep living their life like this uh, let me see what else okay love yourself first so yeah Virgo understand that this person is learning how to do the self-love thing I don't know that this person if like if we can't love ourselves how can we love anyone else right and i don't i feel like maybe this person was maybe always trying to be attached to you and then would be avoidant and run away when things got too close um they never were really loving themselves they were always seeking that external thing to make them feel better um it looks like they're going through some kind of change and recovery from that and learning to heal here um getting that self-love thing and that's all about you know when you hit rock bottom when you surrender you know when you you give up your old life of being a bachelorette or a bachelor and, and you're just like you're hitting some kind of like rock bottom and it's like man i gotta start loving myself now because i'm no good to anybody okay for some of you they're letting go of an ex releasing an ex there might have been an, an addiction to an ex or that phantom energy that they just could not let go of um, maybe every person that they met, they compared to their ex. 
you know, um, and you might have been one of them that they compared to the ex. Um, you guys might have split up and they went with someone else and realized that this isn't going to work. And that person is becoming their ex and, and they're having this awakening here. I, you know, it's funny because not everybody who loves us and not everybody we love, we're going to commit to. That's a completely different ballgame, you know, and sometimes it does happen. Um, but there's some type of obstacles that have been standing in this person's way. And they may have been created long before you came along. Um, maybe something in their childhood or something horrible or they lost somebody that made it really difficult for them to trust. They're going through some major changes here. Um, and as always, Virgo, like I say, if you know if that's something that you want to endure with someone or if you want to try to make something happen here with someone, it's, it's like completely up to you. Um, let me get your messages of love and see what else is going on here. Okay. Messages of love for Virgo. What are Virgo's messages of love? Okay, intuition. You already know the answer you seek. Some of you have all this time known that this person was going to get themselves together. And it was just a matter of time. Some of you just have let them be and moved on with your life and just did. You've always known that this person is your soulmate. You are going to hear from this person in July, but you've already known. Okay, you've already known. And some of you might have doubted a little bit, um, but deep inside you've all You've known that this is your person and you are theirs and maybe it's right person, wrong timing. Could have been a timing issue for some of you. Yeah, second chance here. This relationship deserves a second chance. Yeah, if you want to give it, they want a second chance with you, Virgo. And that's if you want to. But, you know, don't do anything until it actually happens. Don't click off this video and start thinking about it and just be like, yeah, I'll give him a second chance. And wait for them to show up because, like I said, for some of you, this this may not happen. Okay, I just have to give that caveat. But for others, something for you to ponder. Of course, I know a lot of you in the chat are just like, no, I'm not giving this person another chance. It's fine. There are people out here who are looking for that. Um, oh, I'm picking up Pisces. And do you know why? I just saw this. I see a P I S C E N S. For some of you, this is 100% a a Pisces. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Wow, Virgo. What is that? Forgiveness? Giving something, someone another chance that you um, swore off? <laughs> um, chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. So there is a strong, strong thing happening here and has always been an attraction between you and this person, always. You know, Virgo and Pisces, they're opposite on the zodiac wheel. They complement one another. It's just its just the way it is. But they also rub each other the wrong way. The thing about Pisces and Virgo, the one thing I can say about that combination is it can be a difficult, they don't blend easily because they're opposite. They're a, they're a six six on the wheel. And they have a tendency, because of the chaos and the friction between them, because they're so different, they have a tendency to refine one another, right? Um, and refine doesn't mean to make better. It, it may just mean to refine to know what the other wants or what the other needs. Do you understand that? There's friction between you and this person, okay? And even if they're not a Pisces, there there is friction between you and this person, not being able to get on the same page. And I feel like in a lot of ways, this this relationship has, for you, Virgo, refined you in, in very good ways. It woke you up. It woke you up, okay? For some of you, um, this might be a relationship that you have learned from and you don't want to give it another chance um, because you've grown from it. Um, I do feel like this person wants another chance, though, and, you know, they, they can want that if they want. That's not nothing to do with you. You know, at the end of the day, it's up to you what you want with your life. 
Um, if you give it another chance, this person, as I see them coming in sincere and being ready, um, can it be even greater? Yes. Will it be hard? Yeah, sometimes, but it is a soulmate connection and it, it does refine you in a lot of ways. It's the friction, the rubbing against each other creates some serious passion and heat, but it's also whew, can be draining. <laughs> can be draining Virgo I'm just gonna say that let me see what the hidden truth messages are um, what this person could say to you if they could speak to you right now or what they're thinking or what's going on with them okay you don't know how hard it was to let you go and I love you unconditionally this person Virgo does love you like I said before I don't feel like that was really ever a question yeah, maybe they didn't tell you, and maybe it would have been nice to hear that. Um, you know, the affirmation of that. I, I don't, uh, you know, maybe they told you that or not. I don't know. But I do feel like they do, and they always have, and they always will. And that's why they're coming in with that lovers. Um, letting you go. Obviously, it looks like it wasn't easy for them. Um I think it was because you ended it with them. I think you might have let them go and forced them to let you go. Because I do feel like this person may have been holding on to you and coming in and out of your life in that codependency way or in that fantasy way. Um, I don't feel like this person wanted to let you go. Um, and I feel like it was really difficult to do that. Even if they let you go first and then you turned around and decided, okay, that's fine, see you later and they couldn't come back, they were then forced to let you go because they weren't allowed to come back, right? So I feel like there was some difficulty and I feel like that absence has created this, this void for this person. Um, it's created this void, it's created this space for this person to really kind of sit with themselves. Yeah, um, Virgo. <laughs> You took on some kind of Empress energy, and you still got it. And the Empress, the Empress is boss lady, boss man, right? The Empress is in charge. This person has buried themselves in work to forget you. If you haven't heard from them, or they haven't come chasing you or anything, they've been burying themselves in work, for sure, trying to keep busy, all right? They've been using that as an excuse. And it doesn't mean, it doesn't have to mean like actual a job they could have bi just busied themselves with something that required a lot of effort and work to forget you so could be a, at a job could be burying themselves in another relationship burying themselves at the gym burying themselves in their family working really hard putting all the effort in other areas of their life whatever it might have been or may be um so that they wouldn't have to um, think about you. So they make it a lot easier. But it feels like, you know, you can only work so hard. I mean, what are you going to do when you finish all that work? You're still left with yourself and Virgo's not there. So what I, that's what I feel like at the end of that. Okay. <laughs> at the end of that, then they're left with themselves. So there, there's definitely this change. I feel like it's happening with this person where it's like, shit, nothing really worked still missing Virgo, still love Virgo, still want to be with Virgo, but now, now really got to do something. Now I really want to be with Virgo and, and make this like me being their last person in their life forever and ever and all infinity. Okay. What else? One more. Yeah. This person wishes they had treated you better. Well, there's some, a little bit of guilt and remorse here happening for this person, which, eh, you know, Missed opportunities, and people always say, you know, oh, I always miss that opportunity, and I wish I could have known, and I wish I'd done something when when the when the door opened, and I was I was invited to walk through. I should have done something, and you know, happens in life, right? And and it looks like you became um, you you no longer became an opportunity for this person, and that has caused some kind of a a reshifting in in their periphery so you're gonna be getting a call and i feel like you are gonna hear from this person um and i and i feel like they're gonna start off by telling you that they've been thinking about you um they're gonna kind of segue in um kind of tread in toe in the water kind of energy thinking about you um just wanted to let you know that kind of thing um 
expressing some kind of love. Um, it could be a text message as well. You could be getting if it's not a phone call. It could be an email. There's some type is by way of communication um, showing something, but very small to just see if you are going to respond. And you know, Virgo, you might not right? I get it. Some of you, like I said, you might just be like, oh, thanks, an avocado. You might just have that energy, Virgo, and move on to the next present under the tree, right? And others, yeah, you might be like, hmm, what's going on? Thanks, thinking of you too. Hope all's well. How are things? You know, that kind of thing. Depends. It depends. Like I said, you guys hear me say this all the time. So don't go in my comments and bitching and yelling at me because I told you to get back with an abusive ex. I never said that and I never say that. And if I see you put that in my comment, I'm going to I'm going to delete it <clears throat> because we don't talk about that stuff here. That's not what we're talking about. I say all the time, you know, if you've had someone here that was putting hands on you, I say that, and I'm not talking about someone who's recovering from drug and alcohol addiction or whatever. I'm talking about someone who is physically abusive to you, okay? Because any other emotional, verbal abuse, like, you got to take it upon yourself to, like, you know, battle that, right? Because, I mean, listen, I'm old school. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Words cannot hurt you, right? Unless you absorb them and you take them in. And that's just my opinion. Now, maybe I'm, you know off the rails with that nowadays that's how it used to be i know a lot of people you know um if someone's doing the hate kind of thing you know for me i just rebuke that if somebody's giving me hate i rebuke it and i don't let it attach to me because i know who i am and that's kind of the energy if you're not there yet you gotta do that but when someone if someone ever puts hands on you i've never had anybody put hands on me but if anybody ever did i'd clock that mf -er. and out the door you go and don't come back that's me <laughs> that's me and I could clock that mf -er, Um, but now I'm getting older, so I'm, I'm just like, you know what, just, you know, I'm calling the cops. Whatever, Virgo. So I'm not talking about that, right? I'm, I'm talking about a situation where there's somebody here that needs to, or at least is going through a transformation and change, okay? And if you want to take that back, that's, you know, entirely up to you. If you don't, we all understand. Yes, we do. Yeah, I'm Mike Tyson, the mf -er. You put your hands on me. Get the hell out of here with that. Oh, you're going to see the wrath. I'll hit you your ass right back. I'll sweep the leg. Forget about it. You're done. <laughs> you're going to wish you'd never laid hands on me. All right, let me get off my rant here. All right, let's get some Moon Pie Tarot messages if you guys want to get this deck. There's a link below in the description box. My lovely, this is my deck from my previous channel, and it is an oracle deck. So, yeah, definitely go over to the link there underneath the description box if you want to get this. Nobody else has this deck but me. And I know it says Moon Pie Tarot, but that's my original. That's me, okay? Let me see. I do have another channel on here, but I don't, I don't upload on it anymore. All right. Direct honest female coming in, Virgo. Coming in. Somebody coming in to drop a truth bomb. It's a good friend. Yeah, you got a good friend. Coming in to talk to you. Tell you some truths about something. This person cares about you, Virgo. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. This person cares about you. And they're going to give you... They're going to They're gonna just... like. I don't think they're going to really... I feel like this person is going to just keep it real with you, okay? And it might be in relation to this situation with somebody kind of like making a beeline back in your direction. This direct honest female is going to just, like, she is a good friend and she's going to say, you sure you want to do this? You sure about this? What about the last time? What about before? Like, you know, she's going to have that talk with you. Okay, so you've got some good friends around you <clears throat> who are keeping it real with you, and that's good, Virgo. Now, y you could also be the one um, having that talk with yourself. And you might also say to this person, now, we l listen, listen. We're, we can do, we can be friends. That's it. I don't want anything else, right? So some of you might be directly honest with this person and say, listen, listen, I love you. I do. Yeah, I see the good in you. But we've been we've been at this for a long time and it's just not happening. I know you want to be with me. I know you want to make the change, but listen. 
the best I can give you is friendship. Some of you might just say that to this person. Okay. All right. Oh, good. We're changing the subject. You have good news about money coming in, Virgo. Good news about money coming in. You're getting a raise. You're getting a promotion. You're getting that bonus. Okay. And you've got peace. The influence of balance and harmony are over you. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life. All good things are happening behind the scenes. Trust the process. Trust that spirit is working in your life even when you feel discouraged. Be patient and trust. Okay, Virgo. That's a good message for you. What else do you have here? Okay. All right. Some of you... So this, mo this money news coming in is going to bring you a sense of peace. You know, that feeling of like, oh, I don't have to worry about my bills or making the car payment. That's definitely an energy. Some of you will be reevaluating your career. Okay. Because of a new love beginning. Wow. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, some of you, this might be. For some of you, this is going to be like, maybe I don't need to work anymore because this person wants to take care of you or they want to contribute and help take the burden. Um, but for some of you, this might be this connection with this person where um, it's weird. I know that I know that the well, there is a travel card here. Some of you might be at a distance to each other if that's the case then that's why this message would make sense that some of you may be changing jobs because of relocation either with someone new or this person coming back in or you're just in this energy of i need to change my career i need to have a new start in my life so that i can open myself up to new love coming in yeah for those of you who just tell this person you just want to be friends but there's hope that's good so you're getting your hope back virgo hope's coming back okay making those wishes and seeing them materialize so that's good i'm a believer that dreams come true when you're divinely blessed okay so you're also getting hope back about yourself that's good um i just hear live and let live virgo i mean I, that's a strong message but i just keep hearing live and let live here moving to a safe place so there might be some relocation happening here the end of arguments and separation and there is a new chapter starting here in your life okay and uh yeah you've got the soulmate card twin soul energy playing out here so communicate your love to the divine be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another even when times are tough. And seeing back and forth, this love was meant to be. And it looks like for some of you, not all of you, it's time to reconcile. Okay. So the reconciliation energy happening. And you know, guys, Monday and Tuesday, I do this deep love reading about the other person. Okay. And we get into that in-depth look at that relationship with a past person. Again, it's not for all of you, okay? If you don't want to hear this, click off. I have lots of other goodies on my channel during the week, so you can wait for those. But we're going to take a look at the Chinese sign of you and this person, and or you or this person, okay? Beginning with the year of the horse, year of their year of the rabbit, you or them, year of the snake, year of the monkey, year of the dog, year of the goat year of the tiger and year of the rooster okay so virgo let's move on to the goody goody part i know it's your favorite part virgo i know it i know it i know it all right we're going to take a look at the messages random messages names and other things that like to show up here in your reading these are little qualifiers that come in to just kind of give you a little kick and say, hey, yeah, this is more clarification that this is for you. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't mean it's not your message. Okay, Virgo. Mm. I see somebody eating an ice cream or a snow cone so, or ice cream cone. Immediately, I saw that right away. Something to do with an ice cream cone. Okay. And somebody has those, I'm seeing this now, in their home gray like pergo floors or gray wooden floors 
it feels like it's matted. It's not shiny. It's like gray. I guess it's called pergo, or maybe it's laminate that's put down on the floor. It's gray. It's beautiful. I think that's like uh, something that's really in style, but it's gray. It could be real wood that's like sanded and stained that gray color, but I'm seeing that on the floor. Okay, what else do you have? Hmm. Oh, somebody finds like a, one of those little Valentine hearts. You know, the ones with the writing on it, like, will you be mine? You see that somewhere. Maybe it's like under your couch as you're vacuuming from February. I don't know. It's in your kid's room or grandkid's room or something. Somebody's also 42 years of age. We also have the initials H. Um, we have an R and a P. And then also they're just telling me um, somebody plays a harp. They just said that. Or maybe somebody believes that the government is creating weather catastrophes. Okay. Sure. Hey, sure. <laughs> sana, 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 sana. Whatever works for you. Okay. Let's see. La, 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 la. Damn that Zelensky. I always see him there. Why? Why does he show up? Even the flag. So maybe somebody's from Ukraine or is Ukrainian. Okay. Yeah, we have a letter K. Um, I'm picking up the letter B as well. And a D. D is in dog. B is in boy. Okay. Or, or so, okay, so that's weird. I just hear heard them saying, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Calling a dog. Somebody calling a dog. <laughs> All right. I'm also seeing a um, fire pit. So maybe you're outside right now having a drinky drink and sitting by a fire pit. Listen to this reading. Or maybe I was going to say like a heated fan. But I guess if you're in a cold area, that would be appropriate. I'm sure. I know some of you are going through a heat wave this week. I think in certain areas of the world. So I'm sure maybe it feels like a, a hot fan is blowing on you, right? Um, okay. Oh, and then I'm, I'm seeing a Sheltie or like, yeah, Sheltie, a Sheltie dog. Definitely a Sheltie dog. And I'm seeing a baby wrapped in a blue papoose as well. A baby's wrapped in a blue papoose blanket you know, wrapped like up in a papoose right a blanket and oh okay okay somebody likes Aerosmith or Van Halen that's old <laughs> or listening to a Van Halen song or maybe Aerosmith is there an Aerosmith song called Angel I think is it the song Angel? You're my angel. Come and take me to the I guess that's from the 80s, isn't it? That's a really old. You're my angel. I think that's the song. Yeah, I'm just hearing that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Huh. And now look, Archangel Michael is here. Okay. Something going on with Archangel Michael for sure. And also saying, like, listen, um, they're saying you can walk through the gate. Archangel Michael is there guarding you, fighting your, is going to fight your battles for you. Any demons that come in to try to attack, he's going to be out there with his sword, whipping his ding dong around, trying to kill those demons for you. You can walk through that gate, they just said. Okay. All right, some of, somebody's studying to be like a counselor or a therapist or looking at or works as that and is looking at like tons of papers doing paperwork I also felt that energy as well okay I'm gonna leave that there oh also the letter C I'm picking up M as in Mary S as in Sam hold on now they're giving me a name um, uh, Missy they're saying Missy And Craig, I'm hearing Craig. 
I don't know who has and, and so these are very um, hold on a minute um, and then I'm hearing Cortez they're saying Cortez ooh that was a sign Cortez and Roz oh my goodness the name Roz oh they're really giving me some names here and then um, Michael or Michelle Michael Michelle Wow, I never got this many names uh, Raphael I'm hearing and Roseanne <clears throat> and some they just somebody just said ciao like ciao <laughs> or maybe it's a name C-H-O-W, chow. Okay, 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 okay. Too many names. Somebody's trying to talk. Let me tell you what. They're trying to talk with all these names. They're, they're like trying to get this message out to you. All right, let's move on. Birth dates and random numbers. Okay, so we've got Gemini, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Aries. Okay, um, September 19th, they're telling me. Um, August 31st, um, September 15th, and the 14th. Okay, last four digits, or okay, uh, they're just giving me four digits 6,000, 6,000. And somebody is 51. We also have someone who is 43. And we also have someone who is 34. Okay. You're my angel. Come and make it all right. Capricorn, Leo, Pisces. Capricorn again. Okay. Um, all right. They're giving me the number 192. They're giving me... Um, one two three seven now these could be phone numbers or house numbers um, they're giving me one two nine um three seven one one and two one two okay and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on right now hold on a minute you guys um Someone's birthday is, okay, they're telling me to say this. Somebody's birthday is March 19th. They've also, they're giving me October 9th. Um, they're giving me November 7th. Okay. And February 12th. And did I say December 9th? Because I'm picking up December 9th. Okay. So maybe that's the person that, you know, you have been dealing with. Could be. Might not be. We've got Leo, Gemini, Pisces, and Libra. Okay. And just one more round for August and September birthdays, please. Okay. August 30th is here. And um, okay, someone's born in 1977. Uh, someone is 33 years of age. September 11th, and 310, or it's 3710. One of the one of the other. Okay. All right. Last but not least, charms. Yay! Everybody put charms with a big exclamation point. I know that's your favorite. All right. Let's see. What are the charms for Virgo? I'm digging deep into my little bucket here. Oh, I just dropped one. So that's okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, you've got male just kidding all right so you've got some kind of like um an emblem um it looks like a cross so that would be some kind of christianity cross maybe somebody wears a charm or 
a cross necklace of some sort. Okay, that could be you, could be another person. Maybe you're looking at it or you find one or there's a gift that's given. And interestingly enough, this cross is see-through, okay? And I don't know that I can really show it to you because it might not show up, but you can see kind of, um, I don't know how to get that to focus better, but yeah, it's see-through, you see? Okay, anyway, so some of y'all going back to Jesus, you going back to Jesus. All right, so you've got a leaf here and um, maybe you see, yeah, they just said you see a very strange looking shaped leaf. Doesn't look like that. Um, somebody might be smoking a little, some leafy substances right now. Um, I don't partake, but hey, to each their own. Uh, maybe I should. So yeah, there's something here to do with a leaf. Okay, very special. And last but not least, Virgo, you've got a big fat elephant head here. I'm not saying you, Virgo, have a big fat elephant head. I'm saying the charm, <laughs> you big fat elephant head. Yes, there's an elephant head, something to do maybe with, with ivory or tusks. Um, this is also, look at those ears, a little Dumbo action going on. This is someone who, this represents like really good hearing. Um, hey, you know, maybe if you've had trouble with your ears, um, that's about to heal and get better. Something going on with the hearing ears elephants are good luck i believe and i believe that there is a culture that if you take elephants and you point them at your door face facing the door then good luck walks through your door i don't know what culture or um special uh, maybe religion of some sort is I heard of that years ago and I knew a lady that when you walked in her house she had elephants facing her door so that whoever walked in would be blessed with good luck right um, ble or just blessed um, I can't remember that was like 30 years ago but I always remember that do I have elephants at my door no will I go get some this weekend hey you know what maybe but I have a cross over my door so that's kind of my thing but to each their own something here beautiful about the elephant good memory as well so some of you will be having an improvement in your memory lord i hope so because you know i need like i can't like w whatever part of the brain activates short-term memory where something like for me shit's always on the tip of my tongue always it's always on the tip of my tongue and then it comes out later i just cannot access i don't know what it is it's age or it's just i've got so much information coming in but anyway yeah Definitely those energies are playing out and we're going to leave that there for you. That was a lot of fun. So Virgo, again, if you want to book a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. I am running a special for July. So do take advantage of that. And yeah, don't forget, please donate to the fundraiser. I have listed below the video. It might be in the chat as well um, uh, where we donate to help rescue children who are trafficked. And I also have a website um, called Rescue Kids Now, and that is also in the description box. You go over there, and you can donate to the National Center for um, Abducted and Missing Children, okay? Um, so either one you want to do, I don't care if you stick a dollar on there, or a euro, or whatever, a penny, I don't care. Um, it's always good to do your part, and I know Virgos like to help, so if you want to give back, definitely check that out. And yeah, I'm going to be back here tomorrow, as same day, same time same bat channel so definitely pop back in thank you to the moderators for all the hard work you guys do you are amazing i am always so grateful i know i don't say it enough but let me just say it again and let's give a thumbs up to the moderators because they are just on fire all right you guys so have a great day great evening great morning and i'll see you all back here tomorrow take care